So I'm going to share you the technical analysis of CTSI. So why I shorted this one? Uh, technically, I saw a harmonic pattern which has a confirmation around five minutes time frame. There is a bearish structure uh, displayed in this corner. So this one. There is a change of character in the, in this area. So to be exact, this this one is the change of character, and the drop is uh, continuous right after the change of character in this section. So this is the confirmation of the 2.6 harmonic pattern, which I have. Or I have saw uh, on the uh, for our time frame, so I notice I notice the 2.6 is already met, and I look for a uh, bearish confirmation in the lower time frame, which is the five minutes frame. And uh, yeah, I I've, I found one that uh, can uh, justify or can support the the harmonic uh, structure now the market has dropped 50 percent so it has a chance it is still have a chance to hit the two, uh, 60 uh, percent of the Fibonacci or the at least the 75 or 78 percent of the Fibonacci as of now it is now currently kissing the fair value gap in this area this is the fair value gap so this is a high potential uh, target so technically it it will hit or reclaim or revisit this price levels this one this one and this one so uh for me the potential tar target retrace is uh this uh peak so if we put a, a support line here it will uh clearly or we we it will show you the clear uh, res uh support level which is the 0 0.618 at the price level 0 0.2265 okay so uh, you saw you see i replaced this one i placed it here because this is the uh also a potential target okay <coughs> now what will happen next what will happen next after the market drop will it continue to uh, drop here below or it will bounce for me uh, this is a bullish structure it will bounce uh, right after it hits the 78 percent it will bounce upward and let's move to monthly frame there is a long week here so if we put a line the potential target will be the 0 0.2 point 20 negative 0 0.27 of the uh, Fibonacci this uh, or yeah let's let's check if it can still uh, retrace the market has retraced as you can see the market retraced 78 percent in this area this is the 78 percent and uh, it is a very good discounted price for a uh, seller so they they drop the price and then we pull another Fibonacci here we pull another Fibonacci this area so if we check the price uh yeah the price is currently <coughs> uh retracing to thirty percent and uh I think it will it will manage to retrace fifty percent 
Okay, so after it will retrace, it will bounce. Uh, for me, it will bounce, especially especially if the if this candle will print another green candle that will surpass the body of this both green and red candle. It will it will print another green candle here above. Then uh, that is a clear confirmation of a bullish momentum. Okay, so since the candle here printed another solid body of candle and not just a ty typical uh, long week like this one okay because if the if the candle will print this one and then it will print another red candle then the market will uh, show us a data that the market can still drop okay but uh, as I I can uh, see <coughs> In this monthly frame, there is a uh, forming um, double bottom, not technically, but it is a potential double bottom. But it, I cannot tell that this is a double bottom. But uh, it can be a Adam and Eve pattern. Okay, it is a similar to double bottom it has the same characteristic as well but the difference of uh, double bottom and Adam and Eve is the double do bottom pattern must have an equal low in this area in which which happens that uh, in this section it did not uh, it did not meet the characteristic of the double bottom but if we look in another frame it can be a potential Adam and Eve so the Adam and Eve pattern. <coughs> the Adam and Eve it it will not uh, it will not uh, matter if the lower low are not equal as long as it's it will form the pattern then it will it will bounce as long as it will break this neckline break this one aim this one this is the fair value gap I I, I already plotted uh not today but i r i already plotted it uh several months has passed okay so i posted or i i uh put an uh old <coughs> fair body gap sorry excuse okay so yeah this is a clear bullish bullish pattern and uh the the daily or the four hour time frame is uh, showing us a bullish uh, bullish re uh, pattern as well but uh, as of now it is retracing it it is now retracing to to refuel for me it will refuel a bit then it will pump again because uh, as you can see here there there is a trend line and the trend line has breached there's a break clear breakout in this area so the breakout has successfully uh, occur then pump then drop so as of now it it is in the territory of uh, bullish territory so uh, but uh, the bulls are not buying at the 50 percent drop I think they will try to buy at the 68 61 uh, percent drop or discount uh, price because if we pull a demand supply and demand uh, we are we are inside the demand zone so this is the demand this is the demand zone so as you can see the candle has passed the 50% level this is the 50% level so this is the demand zone, the buy zone, this is the sell zone or the supply zone which the seller will sell. So <coughs> red for the supply zone, blue for the demand zone. So we can uh, clear see that the candle is inside the bullish territory. It has now a potential to pump again uh until when we don't know i don't know where it can bounce what the heck there is a, a valid uh there's a valid 
double bottom here so this is the double bottom this is a clear double bottom guys I did not notice this one sorry I did not notice this one so this is just uh, just now so this is a clear double bottom guys so as you can see so there's a breakout in this area see this one then th uh, there's a retest then the breakout another retest then another breakout okay so there it is this is a clear double bottom so I will draw it so that you can clear see it so this is the line the neckline this is the neckline this is another bottom the, the attempt to break the neckline this one but it, uh, it misses the chance to break out but it's okay as long as it will not retrace below this one it is still a valid pattern so the moment it breached the neckline you can enter a long position here set your stop loss in this one then you're good to go so this is a clear double bottom guys as you can see the market has uh, <laughs> has reached a uh, good good profit in this area so it's a very good uh, profitable uh, setup okay so the double double bottom this is a double bottom okay <coughs> but uh, I, I I noticed a re short retracement here which is uh, I I took uh, four scalp trades went well as well I prop it just a little bit but uh, yeah it's scalp then uh, after this one we you can you can uh, buy long at 78 this one in this area uh, let's delete it first okay so after the retracement we can set a buy position here you can set a buy position here uh, in this area buy here that stop here and uh, oh heck and uh, try to aim try to aim the neckline of the daily frame so th this is the neckline so try to aim that one so this is the setup again again this is a bullish pattern uh, and uh, there is another bullish confirmation or pattern that is showing us right now this is a falling wedge the MACD indicator as well is trying to t uh, setting up a bullish reversal uh, yeah I don't know if you miss if you will miss this one but I am a very I'm very sure that this will retrace upward as long as you set the stop loss here okay so uh, yeah if if this gets stop out then uh, it's still okay since the risk reward ratio if you risk uh, let's say if you risk one dollar here uh, yes DTA you risk uh, let's say one dollar the, the account size is let's say 10 <coughs> your risk reward ratio will be um, cannot see it wait stop color price level green input visibility what's wrong with the text there you go so the risk reward is three three is to six or seven three is to seven risk reward ratio if you place a long position in this area around the 50 percent of the Fibonacci I mean the 50 percent of the fair value gap then you have a risk reward ratio of three is to seven risk reward ratio Okay, so the risk is <coughs> three dollar. The profit is 
seven or six point eight. So that's uh uh one point one point one point five or one point one point two three six yeah one one point five <coughs> one is to one point five but this it but this setup is a good uh setup. It is a very discounted stop loss. So try to grab this one as well if you want then uh yeah let's uh check if it will manage to reach our target in this area the 42 0.4289 but the uh, most ideal target is the 0 0.3625 that's the potential target okay so hope you like the video peace and out like and subscribe and show peace